The problem that we're addressing is low body image and disordered eating uh, that is prevalent ac across our nation's college athlete population. And low body image and disordered eating behaviors impact profoundly physical and mental well-being as well as sports and academic performance. Approximately 25 to 45 percent of female college athletes and around 12 to 38 percent of male college athletes endorse some form of disordered eating behavior. That's very significant. And so that's the one thing I hope they take away is this is a real-time, real-life problem that um, our athletes are struggling with and that we need to address. Also that the rates are not too disparate between females and males. And so we really need to invite males to be a part of our interventions as well. We developed a program called WIA, which stands for the Whole Image Athletes. Now the Whole Image Athletes is an online body image enhancement and disordered eating prevention course tailored specifically for both male and female college athletes. WIA can help address the problem of disordered eating and low body image on campuses because it invites athletes to participate in this very basic brief online course. It's about eight weeks in length or approximately one academic quarter and it requires about 120 minutes total. Each, each of the eight modules is about 15 to 20 minutes to complete and they can log on any time that they'd like at Sunday at 11 p.m. at night if they'd like. And what they do is they read a variety of psychoeducational material, they watch some videos that we offer, they answer some interactive questions that we offer, we have multiple choice, true, false, free response format, and um, we also assign kind of offline activities or practice applications so they can try out what it is that they're learning in our pro program. 89% of all, of all of our participants said that they would definitely recommend the program to a friend. Before other campuses adopt our work, it's important that we test this, the program further in a randomized clinical trial uh, that recruits a larger sample and that has a control condition so that we can make sure that the differences we're seeing from pre to post the program are really attributable to the program itself rather than some other factor that we have not yet assessed or identified. But once we're able to do that, and if we're able to do that, I think other colleges can adapt it um, very easily. It's an online program, so it won't take too much much administrative time, personnel, or financial resources to implement it. The key is finding athletic departments um, investment in that, under, better understanding what they want for their campus, and then using that to our advantage so that we can help them achieve that by giving them the program.